Hello guys, welcome to City 17. Actually, I should go talk to Morden. Alright, alright, fuck this shit. Let's go talk to Morden. No messages for you, Commander. Yeah, no messages. Because we want him to say things to us. I technically want everyone to say things to us. I don't know who I talked to last time. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean collector connection, can examine technology, chart reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination. Can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Does knowing how the Protheans fell tell us anything useful about how to stop the Collectors? Or the Reapers? Not yet. More useful as motivation. Effects on Protheans more than indoctrination, body modification. No self-preservation instinct. Old injuries not healed, no reproduction, just cloning. Technology overriding biology, not augmenting. No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead, collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses, always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just committed now. Won't let you down. You said the collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Solarian. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of Holy a shit, we can do this in an infinite loop. Well, someone in the comments wanted this. Biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. We're going to do this for the rest of the episode. Okay, yeah, yeah, fuck this. What is it about the collector's modification that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes, like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight, technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. Yeah, it became blurry and then he moved out of the screen. Weird. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That, or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Alright, nice. Alright, let's see. Arm upgrades, biotic damage. I'm all about that biotic damage. And there's literally nothing else here. Alright. Well, uh, I kind of feel like doing something a little bit 
new-ish. I don't want to do Planet Scan quite yet. As fun as the side missions have been, although I really should do it. Fuck. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll scan this fucking system at least, right? Fine. But no matter what scars you bear, whatever uniform you wear, you can fight like a Krogan, run like a leopard, but you'll never be better than Commander Shepard. Oh. Wow, the best system ever. My god, was there anyone that actually liked planet scanning in this game? Because it's fucking boring. Even even with the thing I have that makes it so, like, nothing really happens. Like, holy shit. I, I could think of ten other things I'd rather do. Alright, well, we've done this one. I kind of feel like doing Project Overlord. Now, as far as I know, this is this is, this is is how things are going to work right now. IFF, I obviously do a little bit towards the end. Um, Samara is something I can do. Basically, okay. Uh, the plan is Reaper IFF at the end. And then after that, Tally and then uh, the other mysterious guy. Before we do Reaper IFF, we're going to do Zaid. Which means there's that Firewalker, MSV, Rosalie, or whatever the fuck. Um, and then this is at the very end of the game. So, so uh, realistically, we actually don't have a lot left. Um, it's kind of interesting. So, let's check out Pro Project Overlord. I just feel like doing something that isn't a loyalty mission and isn't plan scanning. This is the closest thing I can think of. I know Zaid's shit has, like, this huge, like, fucking, like... Uh, apparently, it has, like... Uh, like a, like a renegade check or something. I don't know. That's what someone was saying to me. So uh, they were like, "Oh, you should do it when you're fucking basically done." God, I'm gonna like. I'm gonna have to look so much into Mass Effect Three and sh things. I've been trying to fucking like make sure my choices are good up to that point. You know, like. But there's only so much preparation you could do because I've only played. This is my second time playing this game, so I mean, I already know all the plot points, but yeah. Uh, so we could go over here. Depending upon how many plants are in the system, okay, I won't speed it up then. But uh, yeah, like I've done as much preparation as I possibly can for making this like kind of like, kind of like it's not supposed to be like a really really idealistic run, but I'm I'm trying to just keep as many people alive as possible, and that's like that's hard to do, believe it or not. Very difficult to do. Why is there a giant planet next to that sun? I do not feel like... I don't know. It should not be... Okay, this is Ponos. Dude, this this planet name is fucking horrible. What's this? Typical hydrogen healing gas giant. Fucking... Like, the, the text for that is like... Did anyone did anyone ever, like, read this shit? Like, they, they ever go like, Oh man, I'm gonna read every planet. I know the Mass Effect 1 planet stuff was not that bad. Uh, cause that gave you a little bit of lore at least sometimes. These are just like, like, oh, this is what this planet is. It orbits something and has some bullshit on there. Literally nothing interesting about it. Alright, let's go do Firewalker. Or sorry, not, not Firewalker, Project Overlord. Alright. Earth-like habitable, uh, Earth-like world. Okay, so we're landing on Halo. No, no, we're not. Alright, let's see what the deal with this is. Alright, I guess we'll bring along Garrus and Morden. Uh... Yeah, so Garrus still uses an scissor rifle. I still have the cane, I don't know why. Alright, so this I've heard about. Never played with it, but heard about it. So this is, I think, what they call the hammerhead or something, and like, so basically one of the, one the kind of, I don't know if it's a complaint, but like, people were like, oh, why is there no Mako shit in Mass Effect 2? Because like, they removed all the planet exploring, there was no Mako or anything. 
So this is kind of their solution because I guess the um, the Mako had really buggy physics about it, and I mean it, it added to its charm. But yeah. Well, Entering check by someone, okay. know who I am. I like how I... I like how, like, no, nobody talks in this. Because you, you know, in regular parts of the game, they always talk. Alright. Oh, it's Herbert's funds. Nice. Archie's blog. Shot himself. I know it's a Reaper. That's definitely what happened here. Ah, oh, you can destroy the cameras. Why, why would they install cameras everywhere for a VI to control? I, I don't know. The problem with, like, the characters being so silent in these cases is, like, you literally feel like your pet, your, your, your pet, your playing scene has, like, completely attacked on, though. Alright, uh, where is... I was gonna hack that guy. Is that a flamethrower? I'm insulted. Oh, the music ain't half bad. I already found the redeeming quality so far. <laughs> I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I like I like the precedent of this. I just I've never played it, and immediately I can going into this, I can tell I'm like nobody is saying anything. And I think that really stems into the problem of making these short ass DLC things. Oh, what the fuck! All right, clock engaged. Like, uh, I like the bigger expansions that they make for stuff, because at least they can afford to get all the voice actors together, you know? That, that's what my complaint is, you know? That it's not big enough. Like, I would, like, you know, you'd pay more money for that, right? There's just something about this just feels so awkward. Oh. Just 
Because they clearly made some new music for some of this. Although, like, that's what the, um, that's what the, uh, the Shadow Broker stuff was. They had Liara and Shepard talking, but the other squad mates didn't talk. But that one was okay. That one was like, yeah, because we actually had the voice actor in there. So that one was good. As I said, I, I'll reserve judgment for when I, when I finish this one. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Where are my squad mates? I hear them grunting somewhere. Oh wait, there's... What the fuck is Morden doing there? What is pathfinding? It's probably why they call everything in the next game the fucking pathfinders. Sorry, that's 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 Andromeda. That's a game we don't talk about. God, I heard how bad that was. I, I really didn't want to see it for myself, honestly. I mean, I think I had talked about it at one point, but like the um, some of the Bioshock Infinite stuff, uh, the the DLC, so they call it. Uh, for that, I hate using the word DLC because there's so many negative connotations that come with that. Because there's been so much shit DLC for stuff like fucking horse armor and stuff. Fucking hell, that because that's what I think about when I think about DLC. I can get that ammo there, but I'd have to go all the way around, so I'm not going to do that. We'll just we'll just deal with it. Ah, because that's what I think of when people say DLC is is horse armor, <laughs> fucking horse armor, man. <clears throat> that shit's like I don't know. They've um, they haven't done great things all the time with this stuff, so I'm just never picking up uh, power cells again because of this. Because I, I think I need to get rid of the cane because I am literally never going to use. Uh, like the cane, I think in a lot of these places. I just thought it'd be great for the one time that the BFG would come in handy, but I think until we get to like, I don't know, Reaper ba uh, Re Reaper stuff, I think we're not gonna use it. I mean, it is it is kind of cool seeing like a fucking giant thermonuclear thing strapped to my back. So why would we bring the hammerhead with us if we're not gonna fucking use it yet? I mean, there's literally no other mission where we get to use that. It just, for some reason, it joined us on this mission. This makes no sense. Alright. Yeah, like, look, we're using a fucking tram when we have the hammerhead. Damn it all. He's aligning the dish to a new upload target. He'll have a clear line of sight to our satellite. This is gonna be tight. Was he? He wasn't there before. Come on. We left, we totally left him behind. Tell me you tested it. This is Project Overlord with an emergency message to Cerberus Command. We've experienced a catastrophic security failure and are requesting assistance. We... What do you mean our outgoing comms are jammed? How can it do that? I mean, it's a VI or whatever. Can I go this way? No. <clears throat> no freedom allowed. Oh, I just noticed we're on the satellite dish. This is a whole lot of- this is like walking simulator DLC. What the fuck? Why is it growling at me? What the fuck did I ever do? 
Besides, probably trying to put it down. That's the commentary we get for this one. Shepard won't say anything, witty. Just growl growling the eyes. <laughs> like, fuck it out. Uh. What? I, I just like I just literally just face fuck. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Cause everybody's so silent. It's, that dude, that's the spooky part. Fuck the growling AIs. It's fucking Garrus like appearing in the locked room. Is he really dead though? Is the question. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, that's a good tactical cloak you got there. Uh. Dude, that does not look right. Uh. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> Just fucking shoot Garrus, dude. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm doing this by myself. That's because I don't trust my fucking teammates. Because they're fucking dog shit. I don't trust them. You stupid pyro piece of shit. Fuck the AI, is the AI gonna do? Spook me some more? It's been detrimental this entire time though. Also, nice fucking angle. I think I'm supposed to have my teammates help out with some of this stuff. I'm just gonna say that right now. Kane okay, might come in handy now. Oh, we're gonna just wait for our shit to recharge. <laughs> what the hell's he doing? Oh, he's firing fucking drones at me. But I killed him, so it's all good. Alright, are you guys gonna help out now or what? I mean, I'll fucking solo this game on the hardest difficulty, see if I give a fuck. Infiltrators don't give a fuck. Dude, they died in like the first like 10 seconds. It wasn't even like a like any hard geth. The, the hard geth came out at the end. You need to destroy the support struts now. They have their own capacitors. Try blowing them up. Try blowing them up. Oh, the music got intense again. Holy shit. Angry howl. What? Oh, it went right through. Ah, uh, well, whatever.
The, the angry howl threw me off guard. Can I, can I just tactical cloak for all of them? Asking for a friend. Oh my god, who fucking decided to have this much screen shake? Michael Bay? What the fuck? <laughs> An angry house? Dude, I can't take this. No! No! Fuck, I got fucking knocked back. God, I don't want to do that again. What the fuck is wrong with this thing, too? Alright. You need to destroy the support <laughs> Dude, I could just title this entire episode Angry Howls Intensify. I'm gonna try and go this way. Fight me. Oh shit. I may have missed. Oh my god, how am I supposed to fucking aim with this shit? You shut up, you fucking angry hell of you, What, like, now Shepard decided to talk? At the very end? What? You have my thanks, Commander Shepard. You bought us some time, though probably not much. This isn't over yet. Who did you say you were? Dr. Gavin Archer, chief scientist at this facility, and probably the only one left. Who did you say you were? Dr. Gavin Archer. <laughs> Chief right. scientist. You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been less than satisfactory. It looks like some progress was made. Yes. Even amid chaos, there are lessons to be learned. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. He's like a virus now. Infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off-world. What's the worst-case scenario? A technological apocalypse. Every machine, every weapon, every computer could be turned against us. If he hit the extranet, who knows where it would end? How does he take control of electronics? This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. How do we stop him? David, the VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now.
To enter, you need to manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan stations. How does the lockdown work? It's a fail-safe procedure in the event of an emergency. Normally, all three project leads have to agree to cancel the lockdown. I'm the only one left now. I can give my authorization, but you'll have to manually reset the other two yourself. What happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Tell me about the Vulcan and Prometheus stations. Vulcan Station is our geothermal plant. It generates power for the four outposts. Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. We use them for our experiments. What happens on this station? This is Hermes Station, our communications uplink with the wider galaxy. If you hadn't destroyed the dish in time, the outcome would have been catastrophic. What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but with artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you've never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? Where would the galaxy be then? Sometimes you have to ignore the risks. What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but with artificial intelligence... Uh, there's sorry, no such thing I did that safe. one. Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. That's an ambitious undertaking. It would be the perfect weapon. Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander. Oh shit, we leveled up. Oh boy. Uh, I got literally nothing out of it. How did I level up? I think I had one point to begin with in it with everything. All right. Well, uh, thanks a lot for tuning in, and uh, next time I guess we're whoa, I guess we're gonna do some other shit. So, uh, bye. But you tested it, right? Tell me you tested it.